these are the name of the integration technique. The number one is the supposition method. What is the identification when the function and derivative, when function and derivative lying together? Or maybe this is also a possibility the derivative will lie in the numerator and the function will be in denominator. The second technique that we can use in the integration is partial fraction. How we will recognize what is partial, how, when we will apply the partial fraction technique, when the denominator having a fraction in this way, the, it can be factorized like one upon x square minus one. It means that one upon x plus one and x minus one can be returned and you can easily express in the form of partial fraction. The third technique, area under the curve. This is that. This is the technique that always come with the name. That's area under the curve. And here we will get the absolute value. It means that there are two type of integrations. One is definite and the other one is indefinite. The definite technique will be applied on the area under the curve where lower limit and upper limit will be given. Variable separable and is also called differential equation. When we will look this technique, it looks like its derivative but it is always given in the form of dy upon dx the third the fifth one the biports technique when the two functions are there then you can apply the biports formula it's also come with the name the third the sixth one the sixth technique is called the completing square technique the completing square technique is that technique when the denominator having three terms and where we can easily apply the perfect square formula and sometimes it's also the possibility that two terms are there, then we need to make the third one and make the perfect square. And we can easily apply the completing square technique. The last one is the trigonometric substitution. I have uh, solved a one question with that technique. The trigonometric technique substitution method is that one. For example, uh, the, the substitution will be given uh, like x is equal to a tan theta, x is equal to a cos theta, x is equal to a sin theta. In the given in the question so then you can easily apply that substitution technique 